new here, I'm Alan with Earthglow Inc. and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, I'll be showing you a technique called hydro dipping where you'll actually be able to take just basic spray paints um, that you can get at any craft store or on Amazon and you'll be able to make these kind of interesting artistic patterns on your concrete candle vessels and I'm also going to try to include a link above for how to make those um, because I have a separate video on that as well as how to um, seal them. And um, so you can make these beautiful artistic patterns that are really unique and just fun. Um, the technique is a lot of fun to do and it's super easy. So we're going to get right into the video. So I'm going to put on my nitrile gloves. I've kind of learned the hard way um, by not wearing gloves, spray painting, that it's really important to do so because the spray paint will just get all over your hands and it's so hard to get off. Um, and I'm just taking my distilled water here and I'm just going to pour some into my little Dollar Tree um, container. And this container I always use for this project. Um, and it looks really dirty, but actually it is just got some dried paint in the bottom of it. Um, and it will work totally fine. So I'm just pouring that in here. And then I'm just taking this, uh, Krylon gold leaf paint and shaking it up. And I'm going to spray some into the water and I just kind of spray whatever pattern I like. And then I'm going to take some of this black color, the satin, uh, Rust-Oleum is just what I had on hand. You could also use the Krylon or however you pronounce it. And then my candle vessel, and I'm just gonna gently roll my candle vessel in this paint pattern that I've created on the top of the water. And it's really fun and so rewarding to see this like immediately take shape. And it looks like I'm just gonna go back in there. <laughs> you just kind of have to play around with it. And then I'm going to go back to my paint and spray some more into the water. And usually I'll go back and forth with this probably five to six times um, to get the desired, um, you know, textures and patterns that I want. And then just rolling it right back in there. There's really no wrong way to this. But I do find that it helps to not go too deep into the water. So there it is after second time around and I'm going back for the paint again. It was really cold outside too when I was doing this. And I like to just like go in little spurts of paint. I find that it kind of creates unique patterns um, rather than making any one spot too um, big, but you can always just use whatever patterns you like. And this is after my third time, it looks like. And you can kind of see those water beads just dripping off there. Um, but obviously that'll just totally dry once you finish your project and you'll just be left with the beautiful art. So I actually tried like, I want to say three or four different types of gold paint because uh, I really wanted something that was metallic. And I had a lot of issues with them adhering properly um, to my containers. So this gold leaf was definitely the winner. And I'm going to suggest that if you want a nice gold to go with that one, um, because I've done a lot of testing and they're just not, um, they don't work as well. The other golds, at least not for me. And sometimes it helps when you're doing this to kind of eyeball those little spots where you are missing that paint and to just kind of like spot, um, spot touch, if that makes sense. And sometimes you will see little bits of texture and I have just tended to kind of press them back down um, or just ignore them and the sealer will kind of, kind of finish everything off. And now I'm gonna be doing the other color. And so I did go ahead and dump all my other water out just so that way there wasn't any of the black spray paint in there. And so I'm doing new distilled water and then I did also get a new pair of nitrile gloves. 
And so I'm going to start out pretty much the same way with shaking out my spray paint and starting off with my gold, which I'm going to be using the exact same gold, and then just little splotches of my teal color. And then you can just kind of play around with it um, until you get the look that you like. And you can probably even use different types of tools in the water. Um, I'm probably going to try that at some point, like maybe using a pencil or some sort of like a chopstick to, to see how that affects the patterns. And then again, just kind of rolling lightly going around the whole container um, through that paint. And it's so instantly gratifying to see the results. The other thing I do want to mention is that if you um, spray and leave your paint sitting for too long, it will like start to dry very quickly. And um, that will kind of create an undesirable um, amount of texture on your container. Um, so I found it's best to just put your paint right in and immediately dip your vessel um, right through that paint. So going in for, I think, the third time. And then usually the fourth and fifth time are like my spot touches um, for these. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to see what you're working with because of the water um, on the outside of the vessels. But that's just kind of part of the mystery of the art and you'll never get the same one. See, there's a little bit of that pink showing through there from my um, color of my concrete, and I did want to just cover that up, it looks like, so I went over just that one little spot again and just kind of continuing to spot touch here. Oh, and this can happen too. See, that's where the paint has like dried. Sometimes I'll try to lightly like scrape it off almost and other times I'll just kind of press it back down um, but what we will do is after these dry about three days later I seal them and I do wait a full three days generally so that way any excess water that may be inside the concrete still will um, completely have evaporated and I find that three days is generally the best amount of time for that so interesting the patterns that you can create and the movement of the water also does a lot of the work for you i promise if i can do this you can do this i am in no way a visual artist at all and that looks pretty good and i'm gonna go back in it looks like one last time here maybe just kind of spot touching. Mm -hmm. 